The day Henry met a violin. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, violin. Hello, Henry. How are you today, violin? I'm so excited. It's the opening night of our big concert show, Henry. The fabulous orchestra and I will be playing the most beautiful classical music ever. That sounds amazing, violin. But what are you doing out here in the foyer? Shouldn't you be getting ready to perform? Well, you see, Henry, I'm out here waiting for the conductor to arrive. The conductor has a very important job, Henry. He helps with the overall performance and keeps all the different instruments in time. So the drums now went to drum and the trumpets now went to trump. Wow, that sounds like a tough job, Violin. But don't worry, I'm sure he'll be here in no time. Violin, Violin. Hello, Bo. What's the matter? It's the conductor. It's so windy outside, a three-piece suit has blown off the washing line. He's stuck at home in his underpants. What are we going to do now? Oh, no. This is a disaster. If only there was another conductor around to help. That gives me a great idea, Violin. I could become a conductor, and I could conduct the orchestra, and we could put on the concert together. That's a great idea, Henry. I didn't realise there were so many different instruments in an orchestra. It may look like a lot, but all the instruments are separated into four different groups, or as we like to call them, sections. Can you introduce me to all of your friends, then, please? Of course, Henry. First up, we have the brass section. Hi, Henry. I'm Trumpet. <laughs> I'm Trombone. <laughs> and I'm Tuba. <laughs> and here we have the woodwind section. Hi, Henry. I'm Clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Flute. <laughs> la, 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 la. And I'm Bassoon. <laughs> la, 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 la. Next up, is the percussion section. Hello, Henry. I'm xylophone. La, 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 la. I'm kettle drum. Bo, 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 bo. And I'm gong. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the string section. Hi, Henry. I'm double bass. La, 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 la. I'm cello. La, 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 la. And don't forget me. This is where I belong. La, 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 la. Hello, everyone. Hello, Henry! OK, Violin, let's get the concert started. Henry, before we start, would you mind closing the window, please? It's awfully windy outside, and we don't want anything to blow away. Will do, Violin. Will do. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have the great pleasure of introducing the exciting first performance of Henry and his super duper amazing orchestra. Place this, please. Does everyone have their sheet music? <laughs> Ready, Henry? Okay, here goes. Uh-oh. Oh, no, Henry. The wind has blown away all the sheet music. Without it, the instruments won't know what to play. This is a catastrophe. Hmm. Don't worry, Violin. I think I have an idea. OK. Follow my lead, everyone. You first, brass section. ba da 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 Wind and strings together. La 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 la. Okay, now everybody. Ba, 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 ba. We got a standing ovation. You're welcome, Violin, but I couldn't have done it without your help. OK, everyone, time for an encore. The day Henry met a violin, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a violin, he made us a friend and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me Violin. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for performing with us. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye, Violin. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A statue. <laughs> 
Hello, statue. Hello, Henry. How are you today, statue? Well, considering I've been stuck in this pose for 4,000 years, I'm feeling pretty sprightly. Ooh! <laughs> ah, much better. Statue, why does everything in here look so old? <laughs> That's because everything in this museum is old, Henry. Come along, I'll show you. This ancient Viking helmet dates back over a thousand years. Hello, Henry. These dinosaur bones are over 65 million years old. Hello, Henry. And how old is this rare ancient historical artifact? Is it 500 years old? 2 million years old? 10 bazillion years old? Oh, <laughs> that's not part of the museum display, Henry. That's just my old cassette player. He plays 80s music. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Sometimes, Henry, archaeologists spend years looking for treasure. And once in a lifetime, they find something that's as beautiful as it is old. Behold, the ancient blue diamond. Mm, statue, there's nothing there. What? There's nothing here? Oh, no. The ancient blue diamond. Where is it gone? This is a catastrophe, Henry. Oh, wait! <laughs> My mistake! It says here it actually hasn't been found yet! <laughs> Silly me! If only there was an archaeologist around to help find it and we could gaze upon its elegant beauty! That gives me a great idea, statue! I could become an archaeologist and I could help find the ancient blue diamond! That's a great idea, Henry! Now, which way should we go? Hmm, one way will probably lead us to certain doom. And the other way will hopefully lead straight to the ancient blue diamond. This way or that way? Which will it be? I really think we should go this way. Why is that, statue? Because over that way, there is a great big boulder. And it's heading straight for us. Yikes! Run away! Hello, Sphinx. Hello, Henry. I'm very dizzy. Hello, pyramids. Hello, Henry. Really starting to get dizzy now. Hello, hieroglyphics. Hello, Henry. We have to hurry, Henry. The boulder is right behind us. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, no. It's a dead end. Ah! Whoa. Just got to catch my breath. You two are fast. Sorry if I scourge you. I was coming to say hi, but you ran away and dropped your hat. Oh, you were just giving me my hat back. How nice. Thanks, Boulder. All that exercise did us good anyway. Boulder, do you know where the ancient blue diamond is? Oh, well, of course I do, Henry. It's right under your feet. Oh, hmm. Thanks, Boulder. Whoa! You're welcome. Whoa! Finally, Henry, behold the ancient blue diamond. Wow, statue, you were right. It truly is beautiful. Oh, I bet you say that to all the ancient blue diamonds. <laughs> well, now that we've found you, would you like to come back to the museum and meet some of my new friends? Oh, I'd love to, Henry. Yay! My mum calling me statue. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. Thanks for finding me, Henry. You're welcome. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a clock. <laughs> Hello, clock. 
Oh, hello there, Henry. How are you today, Clock? I'm just splendid, thank you, Henry. My cogs are turning, my springs are springing, and my hands are going tick-tock, tick-tock. <laughs> Clock? Yes, Henry? What's that swingy thing in your tummy? Oh, <laughs> that swingy thing is my pendulum, Henry. A pendulum? What's that for, Clock? Why don't you see for yourself, Henry? Say hello, boys. Hello, hello Henry. <laughs> hello, everyone. I'm the pendulum, Henry. I swing backwards and forwards and keep the clock in time. Whee! Then the pendulum moves us cogs. And then we turn the hands, tick-tock, tick-tock. So people can tell the time by looking at my face. Wow, but, um, what are you doing on the street? Well, Henry, I was supposed to be moving house today, but, um, there's been a problem. Oh, what's the matter, Clock? The delivery van has driven off without me. So now I'm stuck here on the street and my housewarming party starts at four o'clock. What time is it now, Clock? Tick-tock, tick-tock. It's just gone three. I was so looking forward to the party. Can't you just walk there? It's too far, Henry. I wouldn't make it in time. I'll just sit out here and hope another delivery van passes by. That gives me a great idea, Clock. I can become a delivery driver. And I could help deliver you to your new house in time for the party. That's a great idea, Henry. Oh, I can't wait to get to my new home and see all my friends again. What's the address, Clock? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> it's 21 Tick-Tock Road. OK, Van, let's get going. Next stop, Clock's new house. Henry, before we drop Clock off, would you mind helping me to collect a few things on the way? Of course, Van. That sounds like fun. That's the spirit, Henry. But do remember, we must get to the party before the clock strikes four. Now, make sure your seatbelt is fastened and I'll take it from here. Here we go. Hello, piano. Hello, Henry. Hello, box of punting. Hello, Henry. Hello, disco ball. Hello, Henry. Phew. That's the last of the collections on board. Is everyone OK back there? Oh, yes, Henry, it's uh, lovely and um, cosy. <laughs> Don't worry, we're almost there. How are we doing for time? It's almost four o'clock, Henry. We need to hurry. OK, next stop, Clock's new house. Here we are, Clock. We finally made it. Your new house. Oh, thank you so much, Henry. You're welcome, Clock. Now, let's quickly get you inside. Oh, it feels so good to be here. I just can't wait to see everyone. Looks like we made it just in time. Oh, uh, where is everyone? Surprise! Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Henry. <laughs> what time is it now, Clock? It's party time! <laughs> <laughs> the day Henry met a clock, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a clock, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me, Clock. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me get to my new house in time for the party. You're welcome, Clock. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye, Clock. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A light bulb. <laughs> Hello, lifeboat. Hello, Henry, my lovely. How are you today, lifeboat? Can't complain, Henry. The lovely warm sand beneath me and a beautiful blue ocean stretching out as far as the eye can see, drawing me in with her dulcet, watery tones. Lifeboat, 
her waves gently lapping at the shore, beckoning me back into her salty embrace. <laughs> Lifeboat! I can hear her soft voice dancing on the sea breeze, whispering in my ear. Lifeboat, snap out of it! Henry wants to ask you a question. Oh, um, sorry. I was away with the mermaids there. <laughs> That's okay, Lifeboat. I was just wondering, what makes you different from all the other boats? I rescue people who are lost at sea, Henry. So if someone gets into trouble, a lifeguard and I race out and bring them back to shore, safe and sound. Wow, that is so exciting, lifeboat. <laughs> Oi, come back here with my shell. <laughs> well, lifeboat, it looks like everyone is safe and sound. Help, help. I think you spoke too soon, Henry. Is everything OK, Dolphin? The tide is coming in and there's a donkey stranded out at sea, Henry. Uh, we need a lifeguard, quickly. Thundering walruses, Henry. Dolphin's right. We need a lifeguard. If only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, lifeboat. I could become a lifeguard and I can help rescue Donkey. That's a great idea, Henry. Follow me. You'll be there in no time. Thanks, Dolphin. Hello, boy. Hello, Henry. Hello, Seagull. Hello, Henry. Ah. Hello, giant container ship. Oh, oh, hello, Henry. Donkey is just up ahead, Henry. Good luck. Thanks, Dolphin. Come on, lifeboat. Let's go. Uh, what was I thinking? Let's go sunbathing, I said. This will be the perfect spot, I said. Oh, I hope someone comes and rescues me. Hello, donkey. We're here to rescue you. Oh, that's excellent news. Why have we stopped, lifeboat? Sorry, Henry, but this is as close as a big salty sea dog like myself can go. We wouldn't want to run aground now, would we? I guess it's up to me now. But, um, how will I reach Donkey from here? Well, they don't call me a lifesaver for nothing, you know. OK, don't worry, Donkey. We'll have you safe and sound in no time. Uh, thanks, Henry. I was afraid no one would come to rescue me. But now you're here and everything's going to be just fine. Uh, help! Hurry! Quick, Henry! OK. Here goes, everyone. Wish me luck. Good luck, Henry. Uh, hooray! Uh. <laughs> now, Henry, all you need to do is pull Donkey in. I think I might have a better idea, lifeboat. You are right back there, Donkey. Couldn't be happier, Henry. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Right, lifeboat. Back to dry land, please. Aye, aye, skipper. Day Henry met a lifeboat. She laughed along with everyone. Day Henry met a lifeboat. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me lifeboat. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for saving the day. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A letter. <laughs> Hello, letter. Hi, Henry. How are you today, letter? To be honest, I'm a little bit nervous, Henry, but I'm really excited at the same time. Why is that letter? Oh, sure, letter's been posted today. We're very proud of her, aren't we, Telephone? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, our little letter's going on her first trip into the big wide world. Mom, Dad, stop it. I'll be fine. Wow, travelling sounds so amazing. But it's really important you don't forget anything. 
Oh, Henry's right, letter. What about the address? Do you have the address? If you don't have the address, you won't know where you're going. I have the address. It's right here, see? Oh, and you can't go anywhere without a stamp, you know. I have one around here somewhere. <laughs> Thanks, stamp. Right, I think that's everything. You'd best be on your way, love. You don't want to miss the two o'clock post. The two o'clock post? But it's almost three. Oh, you've missed a post collection. What will you do now? Oh, if only there was a postman here to help. That gives me a great idea, Letter. I could become a postman and I could help deliver you myself. That's a great idea, Henry. Come rain or shine, I promise I'll deliver you on time. Woohoo! Hello, corner shop. Hello, Henry. Hello, bus stop. Hello, Henry. Hello, hedgehog. Hello, Henry. The sorting office is just up ahead, Henry. We'll be there in no time. Letter, what exactly is a sorting office? Follow me, Henry, and I'll show you. This is where letters and parcels from all over the world end up. Guten Tag. Konnichiwa. Good day, mate. Hello, everyone. And then we all get sorted in the mailroom. Come on, Henry, jump in. Letter. Hello, post fan. Hello, Henry. Now, don't forget to fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> Will do, post fan. Huh? Will do. <laughs> Thanks, post fan. Here we are, letter. Now, all I have to do is post you through the letterbox. Woof, woof. Ah, a dog! Please don't slobber on us. What's the matter, Letter? Henry, everyone knows dogs and postmen don't get along. Don't get along? Nonsense. One of my best friends is a postman. I was just welcoming you into my lovely home. Thanks a lot, dog. Sorry. Not at all. Now, can I offer you a glass of cranberry juice with a splash of orange? I'm a fruity little number. Thanks for asking, dog, but I have a job to do. Well, Henry, that was some adventure. Travelling is always an adventure, especially when you have a good friend by your side. The day Henry met a letter, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a letter, he made lots of friends. That's my mum calling me, Letter. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Oh, aren't you forgetting something, Henry? <laughs> of course. I still have to post you through the letterbox. Thanks, Henry. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Letter. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a panda. Panda. Oh, um, hello, Henry. Is everything all right, Panda? Oh, I'm sorry, Henry. How rude of me. Everything's fine. In fact, everything is better than fine. Why is that, Panda? Did you finish your painting? Are you going snorkelling? Did you buy new roller skates? Better than all of those, Henry. My cousin from China is coming over for a visit. Oh, I can't wait to give her a big hug when she gets here. Wow, that's great news, Panda. I love it when my cousins come to visit. Delivery for a Miss Panda. Oh, that's me. How exciting. Do I look OK, Henry? You look lovely, Panda. I'll just pop it here, shall I? <laughs> oh, um, 
Chinese pandas are a lot browner, hairier, and altogether sleepier than I expected. I'm not a panda. I'm a sleuth. Well, of course you are, but if you're here, then where's my cousin? I hope she's not lost somewhere in the zoo, panda. Oh, if only there was a zookeeper around that could help us look for my cousin. That gives me a great idea, Panda. I could become a zookeeper and I could help find your cousin. That's a great idea, Henry. Come on, everyone. Let's go. I'm right behind you. Looks like Sloth has fallen asleep hanging upside down. Sloth's had a long trip, Panda. I'm sure he'll catch up with us later. Hello, Lime. Shh, Henry. I got my eyes on that lovely gazelle over there. You're it. Oh, Lion. You get me every time. Come back here, you. Um, Lion, gazelle, have either of you seen another panda like me around? <laughs> Sorry, panda. I haven't, I'm afraid. We've been too busy playing tag to notice anything. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Lion? Yes? You're it. <laughs> Come back here, you. Looks like this could be a long day, Panda. Zebra, have you seen any pandas today? Afraid not, Henry. I've been too busy finishing my painting. Hippo, any chance have you seen another panda like me around today? Sorry, Panda. I've been too busy snorkeling today. Hello, Elephant. Have you seen any pandas like this one around today? No, sorry, Henry. I've been too busy on my roller skates. <laughs> what are we going to do, Henry? We've searched everywhere and there's still no sign of my cousin. Not quite everywhere, Panda. Excuse me, signpost. Do you know the way to the sloth enclosure? Well, I most certainly do, Henry. It's that way. Thanks, signpost. Hello, Mummy Sloth. Have you seen any other pandas around here today? Pandas? Here? Today? I haven't, I'm afraid. Whoa. Are you OK, Cousin Sloth? Sorry about this, but my cousin arrived yesterday from South America and he hasn't really got the hang of the whole sleeping whilst hanging upside down thing yet. Have you, Cousin Sloth? How many times do I have to tell you I'm not a sloth? I'm a... Panda, it's you. You've been here all along. The deliveries must have gotten mixed up. But if you're not a sloth, then where's my cousin? Here I am. <laughs> I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me find my cousin. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... <laughs> a balloon. <laughs> Hello, balloon. Hello there, Henry. How are you today, Balloon? I'm fantastic, Henry. You can't beat the life of a balloon. We're bright, colorful, and always the first ones invited to parties. <laughs> balloon? Yes, Henry? How do you float around like that? Is it magic? Oh, it's much better than magic, Henry. I'm filled with helium. Tell Henry all about it, boys. Hello. Hello. Helium is an inert gas that floats around without much mass and has no color, odor, or taste. But us balloons, we think it's great. <laughs> I wish I could float around all day like you, Balloon. There's not much time for floating about today, though, Henry. It's the day of the big circus show. Me and the boys are performing on stage with the funniest, most amazing clown ever, aren't we, boys? We sure are. <laughs> I'd love to see a big circus show, Balloon. 
Well, we better get you a ticket then, Henry. One child's ticket, please, ticket booth. I can give you a ticket, but it won't be much use. I'm sorry to say the show has been cancelled. Cancelled? The clown's tour bus has broken down and he can't make it to the show. Sorry. This is a disaster. How are we meant to put on a show without our star clown? That gives me a great idea, Balloon. I could become a clown and I could help put on the show. That's a great idea, Henry. Balloon, I feel like I'm missing something. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. Look. Ah, that's it. Thanks, Nose. Hello, boys and girls. And snacks of all ages. <laughs> For my first clown-tastic trick, I'll need the help of my inflatable assistant. Balloon! Is that OK, Balloon? Of course, Henry. It would be my pleasure. What do you have in mind? Well, oh, 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 careful now. <laughs> that tickles. Ta-da! Oh, um, <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> that was great, Henry. The crowd is loving the show so far. Whatever will you do next? Just you wait and see, Balloon. Hello, Cannon. Hello, Henry. Trampoline. Hello, Henry. Hello, Rings. Hello, Henry. Ta da! <laughs> wow, Henry. That was the best final act I have ever seen. That's not the final act, Balloon. Henry will now attempt the gravity to find tightrope walk of doom. Please do not try this at home. Safety nets at the ready. Here I go, everyone. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Yes, be careful, Henry. <laughs> Mind your step. I'm so excited I could just burst. What? <laughs> what? Whoa! <laughs> ah! Don't worry. We've got you, Henry. Thanks, everyone. Just drop me off up here, please. Ta-da! You did it, Henry. You made it across the tight rope, and you saved the show. Thanks, Balloon. But I couldn't have done it without your help. Now, anyone want a custard pie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling me Balloon. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. Thanks for helping us put on a great circus show. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met. Our train. <laughs> Hello, Train. How's it going, Henry? How are you today, Train? I'm wonderful, Henry. It's a beautiful sunny day, the birds are singing, and I feel toot-tastic. Toot, toot! <laughs> train, why do you have a chimney up there on your head? That's because I'm a steam engine, Henry. What's a steam engine? Well, you see, Henry, my engines burn lots of coal. The hot coal turns water into steam, and the steam turns my wheels. Then I get to blow any extra steam out my chimney. Toot toot! <laughs> toot toot! I wish I could go on a train ride one day. Oh, that reminds me, Henry. I have to go on a trip to the ranch today to drop off all these animals. Hello, Henry! Hello, everyone. That's a lot of different animals, Train. Maybe we should make sure you're not forgetting anyone. That's a great idea, Henry. Let's do a roll call. Horse? Here. Pigs? Here. Cow? Here. Train driver? Um, train driver? Where is he, Train? He must have gotten off at the wrong stop. What shall we do now? If only there was another train driver around to help. That gives me a great idea, Train. 
I could become a train driver, and I could help you take all the animals back to the ranch. That's a great idea, Henry. Radio train, let's get going. Oh, why aren't we moving, train? We won't get very far without any fuel. Try a lump of coal or two, Henry. Hello, Henry. Hello, Henry. Hello, Coles. Stand back, Henry. These little fellas are going to get hot, hot, hot. Whee! And you don't want to get burnt. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that should do it, Henry. Now hold on tight, and I'll take it from here. Let's go! Hello, Cactus. Howdy, Henry. Hello, Windmill. Hello, Water Tower. Hello, Henry. Hello, Canyon. Hello, Henry. You're doing a wonderful job, Henry. You're a natural. We're nearly at the ranch already. That's great news, Train. Now, as long as the old bridge up ahead hasn't collapsed again, we should be there in no time. Oh, no. Train, look. Oh, the old bridge, it has collapsed again. Quick, Henry, pull the brakes. Henry, I said it's time to pull the brakes. Quick, Henry! But I am pulling the brake, Train. Oh, no, we're gonna crash. Don't give up just yet, Train. There must be something we can do. Well, what do you expect me to do? Jump over the canyon? That's it, Train. We can jump the canyon. Oh, but Henry, we'd have to be going really, really fast to do that. Don't worry, Train. I've got an idea. Okay. Ready, everyone? Ready, Henry! And let's go! You're doing great, Henry! Thanks, Train. Just one more piece of coal, and that should do it. Henry, here comes the canyon! Hold on tight, everyone! <laughs> oh, we, we, we made it! And we landed right outside the ranch. Well done, Henry. Thanks, Jane. Although, I did have a little help from some new friends. Now, who wants to go to the ranch? my mom calling me, Train. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. Thanks for helping me get the animals to the ranch. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Well, oh, oh, hello. It's me, Well. It's Henry. Ah, sorry, Henry, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see a thing without my glasses. Just one mo. There, that's better. I can see you as clear as day now. How are you today, Well? Oh, I feel great, Henry. Nothing like a refreshing early morning swim in the big blue sea to start the day. Well. Can you breathe underwater? Whales can stay underwater for a long time. But we don't have gills, so we can't breathe underwater like fish do. So, how do you stay underwater for so long? I hold my breath, but I don't breathe out of my mouth or my nose like you do. I breathe out of my blowhole. <laughs> oh, Henry! Oh, my glasses! I've dropped them in the water! Oh, no! Can't you dive down and get them, Whale? I would, Henry, but I can't see a thing without them. Oh, if only there was someone around who could dive down and help me look. That gives me a great idea, Well, I could become a deep-sea diver and I could help you find your glasses. That's a great idea, Henry. Let's go! 
Well, well, this place is beautiful. It certainly is, Hayley. But there's no time for sightseeing, Will. Let's find those glasses. Maybe they're behind this coral. Ah, or under this shell. Uh, oh, or maybe they're even in this clam. Uh, I can't see them anywhere, Will. Oh, maybe that seaweed knows where my glasses are. <laughs> Will, that's not seaweed. It's a seahorse. Oh, pardon me, seahorse. I've lost my glasses. Have you seen them by any chance? Oh, you haven't, I'm afraid. Well, maybe the big old shipwreck knows where they are. Great idea, seahorse. The big old shipwreck collects all sorts of things that end up at the bottom of the sea. Follow me, Henry. We'll have you there in no time. Hello, anchor. Hello, Henry. Hello, submarine. Hello, Henry. Hello, octopus. Hello, Henry. I must be getting back to my training now, Henry. It's my big race tomorrow. Good luck finding those glasses. Thanks, seahorse. Hello, Henry. Hello, shipwreck. You look like you're looking for a bargain, Henry. I'm not wrong, am I? <laughs> We've got a smelly old mattress just floated in this morning. We found an old shoe with a hole in it and a chest of drawers with no drawers. Oh, a chest of drawers would look lovely in my sitting room. Well, we're here to find your green glasses, remember? What's that? Green glasses, you say? Let me see. I've got green barrels, green berets, and green bottles. But I'm sorry to say I don't have any green glasses. Oh dear, we'll never find my green glasses, Henry. Henry? Are you okay, Henry? Sh, sh, shark! Swim for your lives! Oh, shark, please don't eat us. We're not very tasty. <laughs> eat you? Don't be silly. I just wanted to tell you something. What was it you wanted to tell us, shark? I just wanted to tell you that I found your glasses. Seahorse told me you'd lost them. Oh, thank you, shark. Sorry, we thought you were going to eat us, shark. That's okay. It happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> the day Henry met a whale, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a whale, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me, whale. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me look for my glasses. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A lighthouse. <laughs> Hello, lighthouse. Hello there, Henry. How are you tonight, Lighthouse? I'm doing great, Henry. There's nothing better than breathing in the fresh sea air and feeling the waves lapping against the rocks. Lighthouse? Yes, Henry? Why do you stand out here looking at the sea all day and all night? I'm just doing my job, Henry. See all those jagged-looking rocks out there? Hello, Henry. Well, when it's very, very dark or very, very foggy, I help boats find their way past them safely. But how do you do that, Lighthouse? Do you call them on the phone? Do you shout really loudly? Do you blow on a giant trumpet? Even better than all that, Henry. I use this super powerful light on my head. Wow, that's amazing. I guess that's why you're called a Lighthouse. <laughs> Precisely, Henry. Oh, look, Henry, here's a boat now. I'll light his way so he doesn't get into any trouble. Huh? I know my lamp. The bulb blew out. This is a disaster. What shall we do now? I could ask my mum to find a light bulb. She always changes the light bulbs at home. Oh, I wish it was that simple, Henry. But only a lighthouse keeper knows how to fix my lamp. 
That gives me a great idea, Lighthouse. I can become a lighthouse keeper and I could change your bowl and fix your lamp. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, first things first, Lighthouse. Where do you keep your spare bulbs? I keep them in a the little shed behind you, Henry. OK, Lighthouse. I'll be back in no time. Hello, Henry! Oh, I didn't realise there was a bazillion boxes in here. I suppose I'll just have to keep opening them until I find a bulb. Hello, rubber ball. Hello, Henry. Hello, trumpet. Hello, Henry. Hello, foam finger. Hello, Henry. How hard can it be to find a giant light bulb? What, like the one over there? Hello, Henry. I did it, Lighthouse. I found the spare bulb. Well done, Henry. But you need to hurry. We don't have much time. That little boat has no idea he's sailing straight into jagged rocks. Oh, it's awfully dark tonight. I hope I'm not sailing straight into any jagged rocks. The lamp is just up these stairs, Henry. But before we go, we need to turn the power off. Will do, light bulb. Will do. Here we come, lighthouse. We're on our way. Uh, 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 are we nearly there yet, Lighthouse? Just a few more flights, Henry. You'll be up here in no time. Uh, OK, Lighthouse. That's the spirit, Henry. Uh, we made it, Lighthouse. Now, where do I put this bulb? Over here, Henry. OK, Lighthouse. <coughs> Nothing happened, Lighthouse. Oh, Henry, the power needs to be turned back on. The little boat is sure to hit the rocks now. Leave it to me, Lighthouse. Ready, Rubber Ball? Ready, Henry! Uh, yeah! Ooh! Ooh! Ow! Ooh! Boing! 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 Yeah! Whoa, 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 whoa! That was close. You did it, Henry! You replaced the bulb and saved the day. All in a day's work for a lighthouse keeper. <laughs> the day Henry met a lighthouse, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a lighthouse, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me lighthouse. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. Thanks for changing my bulb and helping me save the boat from those rocks. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A rooster! <laughs> Hello, rooster. Hello, Henry lad. <coughs> Are you OK, Rooster? You sound like you might have a cold. I'm fine, Henry. Don't mind me. <coughs> you think I'd be used to these cold winter mornings by now? Achoo! Was that a sneeze I heard? Sounds like someone could do with a flask of delicious warm soup. It's a little early for me, thanks, Flask. Oh, that reminds me. I really should be getting to work. I've a job to do. What job is that, Rooster? I have to wake the farmer up so he can feed all the animals. They get awfully grumpy when they don't get their breakfast. Mmm, Rooster, how do you know when it's time for breakfast? Good question, Henry lad. I just look over there to the east, and when the sun rises, I know it's time to wake everyone up. Good morning, everyone. It's wakey up time. Hello, son. How are you today? I feel all aglow inside, Henry. I love brightening everyone's day with my warming rays of sunshine. Ready whenever you are, Rooster. Rightio, son. Here goes. <sighs> <coughs> oh, no, Henry. I don't think I can crow. My throat's too sore. Maybe try one more time, Rooster. <coughs> what am I going to do? If I can't wake the farmer up, the animals won't get fed. If only there was someone else around to help feed all the animals. That gives me a great idea, Rooster. I could become a farmer and I could help feed all the animals. That's a great idea, Henry. Ah, <laughs>
Hop your seatbelt on, and I'll take it from there, Henry. First stop, the pig sty. Good morning, Mummy Pig. I hope you and all your little piglets are hungry, hungry, hungry. Oh, they certainly are, Henry. Come along, piglets. Here you go, piggies. Now, everyone, what do you all say to Henry? Thank you, Henry! <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Hello, cow. Howdy, Henry. Chirp, 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 chirp. Hello, chicks. Hello, Henry. <laughs> Hello, sheep. Hello, Henry. <laughs> Hello, ducks. <laughs> I see the pond is frozen over. Oh, it has, Henry. It's frozen solid. Oh, that's no good. No, it's not, Henry. In fact, it's terrible. Do you know what else is terrible? A perfectly good flask of soup going to waste. Anyone fancy a mug? <laughs> no, thank you, flask. Oh, no, Henry. If the pond is frozen over, that means the water mill will be frozen over too and we won't be able to grind the flour, which means we won't be able to make any bread to feed to the ducks. It's OK, Rooster. We just have to work out a way of melting the ice. How about a lovely warm mug of soup to help you all think? Not right now, Flask. Are you sure? It's like a big warm ball of sunshine in your tummy. That's it, Flask. We need heat to melt the ice. And I think I know just who can help. OK, son. Ready, steady, shine! <laughs> Everyone, every single animal has been fed. Not quite everyone, Henry. Oh no, Rooster. It looks like there's no food left. Oh yes, there is. And now it's lunchtime. Mmm, that's delicious, thanks, Flask. And it's gone and soothed me sore throat and all. Got the noodle! My mum calling me, Rooster. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping to feed all the animals. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. Alcar. Hello, Car. Hello, Henry, my boy. How are you today, Car? I feel fantastic, Henry. Never better. I'm raring to go. <laughs> um, are you meant to sound like that, Car? <coughs> Not exactly, Henry. Sounds like my engine could do with a drop of oil. Did I hear one of you boys say a drop of oil? You most certainly did. But, um, what is it you do exactly? Well, Henry, oil helps the engine run nice and smoothly. It stops all the different engine parts from rubbing together and wearing out. <laughs> so the gears can move and the pistons can pump. And then the wheels can turn and the car can go. Exactly, Henry. Oh, I feel so much better now. If only there was a big race happening today down at the racetrack. Extra, extra, calling all cars. Big race happening today down at the racetrack. Did you hear that, Car? This is your chance. You could enter the big race. Well, that would be wonderful, Henry, but, well, you see, I've never actually finished a race before. I always break down just before the finish line. Oh, but, Car, it's not all about winning, and it's never too late to give it another shot. You're absolutely right, Henry. I should enter. <sighs> But I can't enter without a driver. That gives me a great idea, Car. I could become a race car driver and we can enter the big race together. Well, bless my bumpers. That's a great idea, Henry. 
Look, the lights are about to change. It's almost time to race. Drivers, start your engines. Ready, steady, go, go, go! Uh, what's the matter, Car? Aren't you forgetting something, Henry? Oh, my seatbelt, of course. Whee! Um. Sorry, Car. Now grab hold of the steering wheel and I'll take it from here. Hold on tight, Henry! Hello, blue car. Hello, green car. Hello, Henry! Hello, tow truck. Hello, Henry! Hello, pit stop. Time for a new set of wheels. And a quick fuel top up. Go, go, go! We've made it, Henry. We're in first place. And look, the finish line is just ahead. Just hold it steady, Car. We're almost there. We're going to win the race. Absolutely nothing can stop us now. Uh-oh. My pistons. I'm so sorry, Henry. I've broken down again. Don't worry, Car. We didn't win, but we had lots of fun. I know, Henry, but I've still never finished a race. I guess I'm just not cut out for the racing life. Hold on, Car. I have an idea. Huh? What? What's happening? You're finishing the race. That's what's happening. Come on, tow truck, let's go. Yay! You did it, car. You finished the race. Oh, thank you, tow truck, and thank you, Henry. I can't believe it. You've made an old car very, very happy. My pleasure, car. But always remember, it's not about winning. It's about taking, taking part. part. <laughs> the day. my mum calling me, Car. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me finish your race at last. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. 